right, special guest in our midst this morning. So Chris and Dallas from the East Texas Men's Center have been here before, and we've heard a lot about what the great things they do out there, and uh, we're going to talk to them a little bit. They brought along a special guest this morning. His name is Brian. Brian, welcome to the show. Hi. How are you? Doing? Glad to be here. Good. So Good to see you. So so you're an actual participant out in the... Yes, uh, I'm a student. I've yeah. been here about eight months, and it's yeah. literally... Uh, you know, I'll give you the shortest testimony ever. I, it's literally... I've had everything I've ever wanted after 49 years. I have peace in my mind, peace in my heart. The war in my head is over. The really? battle is over. I have peace, contentment in my heart. And that's all I've ever wanted. It's all I've ever wanted. And I have it. That's all through a relationship with Jesus Christ, a living, breathing relationship with him. Trust and faith in him. You know, so it's we hear so many great things about the East Texas Men's Center, but, but to actually hear you come in and, and say yeah. that. Now, so what brought you to the center? How did you find out about uh, Just 49 course? years. Of, I won't even get into the whole history, but just 49 years of drug addiction. Just selfishness, selfishness. Right. Just trying to meet my needs, looking for something that's peace, that's happiness. Just a, an unattainable thing in my mind, but just I got there. The program is very difficult, very challenging. It just forced me to rely 100% on God. And now, eight months later, I shouldn't say this in front of the director you know, yes. and the staff because they'll just make the program harder maybe, but <laughs> I find this, I feel like I'm at a summer camp. Really? I mean, the days are long, I'm busy, these guys know it. I'm, I'm busy every hour, every minute, every day is accounted for, but it's easy, it's nothing to it. And I, if I could handle this, I could handle an eight hour job in a leadership position at church, no problem. So Teen Challenge has literally changed my life, transformed me. It's just facilitated an amazing relationship with my, my wife and I are back in love. We are going to renew our vows after I graduate, and, and it's the most amazing thing ever. That's been I'm so in love with that woman, that, that's, passionately in love with yeah, her. And we, I was indifferent to her before I entered the program. Really? Yes. So. That's, that's fantastic that you've done all that. So tell me what a typical day. Is there a typical day? Uh, a typical day is a real active ministry, a real wild. It's right. a, I have a job in, in marketing. I work in the office, but I could be pulled in 10 different directions during the day, and I love it. One day I'm driving a tractor. This literally happened two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. One day I'm in the kitchen. One day I'm ministering to uh, new students, uh, teaching them the Bible. And uh, I help out in education now, and it's just it's just amazing. It's amazing. The versatility of this ministry, there's, you, there's no two days are alike. But you can count on it being hectic and chaotic, but also, but, but again, I just have this peace in my heart mm -hmm. that it'll all work out. And today you're on the radio. And today I'm on the radio. I didn't see this. I woke up and had no clue this was happening today. So, you know. See how easy it is? Yeah. It's, and it, it, and I, normally, if you knew my history of stage fright and all these things, yeah. I had to drop out of several classes in college because I didn't want to give a presentation. Yeah. And I didn't do this with really no stress. That's a, that's a mini testimony within a testimony. Well, we're, God bless you, and, and thank you for sharing your testimony yeah. and coming out with us this morning.